Hello guys, welcome to the Code Ashram. My name is Rahul Shikhawat and this is our third video in the series of Selenium with Java. In the last video, we, we saw how to create a Maven project in IntelliJ and we also saw uh, what dependencies we actually need to uh, write our first test cases in Selenium with Java. Now in this video, we will see how we can create our first test in Selenium with Java. So for that, first we need to go to the our, our test folder in Java. Let's create a test for test package where we are going to store all our test cases. So first let's let's create our first test class with the name test first. So, in this tutorial, we will take use of Heroku Internet website to automate some test scenarios. So, you can uh, check out this uh, automation uh, testing website, uh, which you can use to uh, practice your automation testing skills. So, first, we are gonna uh, we are gonna start with this scenario where we will first uh, launch this uh, website and then we will uh, click on forget password and then we will try to enter the email address and then we click on the retrieve password so we will uh, start with this scenario first so let's go back to our uh, IntelliJ so first I'm gonna uh, declare our web driver public the driver driver so it's saying us to import our selenium package and then let's first in the let's use a before class annotation Let's make a function in it in which we are gonna uh, set up our web driver for the test cases to run so I have uh, used before class annotation this is a one of the test ng annotation which gets executed before the class before any other test cases executes this before class will like, get executed first in the very first and also let's uh, declare uh, create a one more uh, method tear down in tear down what will happen is that this uh, we are using this after uh, class annotation so that this function gets executed in the very last in, when all the test cases are uh, finished executing so let's first uh, uh, set up our web driver so for that we are gonna use our web driver manager so we are uh, gonna set up a chrome driver so this is how we set up uh, our web driver uh, chrome web driver using uh, using a web driver manager I'm not uh, uh, using I'm not declaring any options chrome options here because uh, we don't need that right now we are simply uh, setting up a, a chrome driver instance uh, so web driver helps us in that uh, Before web driver we used to uh, Set up our uh, chrome driver uh, like this something like this system dot set property chrome uh, web driver Dot chrome dot driver Where we need to oh, where we need to pass the path of our where we have stored the web driver so what was the disadvantage of this way was that we need to uh, we need to keep track of uh, the drivers where we have installed them also we need to update them regularly when the new version of any other any driver has come up but but with uh, all this problem got solved with the uh, 
web driver manager you don't need to uh, keep track of our drivers uh, regularly we don't need to update them we don't need uh, to download any uh, web driver uh, just by using web driver manager you can simply set up any uh, browser or browsers driver easily so this is a very easy uh, in the, a very easy way you can set up uh, any uh, browsers driver using web driver manager so i would prefer i would uh, recommend you to use uh, this uh, uh, this way of uh, in initializing your uh, chrome driver or any other browser driver instead of uh, simply setting up the system uh, variable system uh, property for that so let's delete it right for now so right now our uh, we have our our driver is uh, we we have got our driver uh, variable we have pro we have successfully set up a driver now what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to uh, set some uh, implicit timeout right now so we are going to use a duration of uh, 30 seconds for now and we are also going to i will also uh, tell you uh, what weights uh, we can use uh, in selenium just in a minute i'm out so and uh, we are also gonna maximize whenever uh, we we also want that whenever our browser uh, gets launched it is it gets launched after getting launched it uh, does get maximized so for that we need to use uh, this uh, uh, command to uh, for that purpose so i was talking about the uh, weights so there are basically three types of uh, weights in selenium we use that are uh, first uh, let's use a multi commenting system so as as i said there are three uh, weights in three types of weights in uh, selenium first is uh, implicit weight second one is explicit weight and third one is fluent weight so all these all three are the intelligent weights but we usually prefer uh, to use either explicit weight or fluent weight we do not uh, Uh, prefer to use implicit weight because it somehow increases our overall execution time i will tell you in later vi videos that how it increases our uh, overall execution time but for now we can use this implicit weight because it is also one of the uh, intelligent weights we can use in uh, selenium and uh, after that in tear down we are gonna after executing our test case we want that uh, Uh, our browser and web driver session gets closed so for that we are going to use driver dot quit so uh, in many interviews uh, interviewer ask what is the difference between driver uh, dot quit versus uh, driver dot close so usually close when you use driver dot close it only closes it only closes the browsers but the web driver session remains open but with quit it closes both the browsers open browsers as well as the web driver session so this is the uh, main difference uh, between the uh, close and quit close only closes the brow browsers which are open during the execution but it does not closes the web driver session uh, the web driver session remain open but with quit it not just not only closes the browser but it also uh, close uh, ends our web driver session so this is the main difference between uh, close and quit 
so here we uh, as i said uh, we are going to use driver.grid because we want that the our browsers get closed as well as our web drive session gets ended so instead of using uh, single comments i can use multi comments for a better elaboration So now we have set up our initialization and our teardown code. So uh, for that, for initialization, for initialization, we have used before class, and for uh, teardown, we have used after class. So this code gets executed right uh, very in the very beginning, uh, when the uh, before the test cases starts to execute, and these <laughs> this teardown gets executed when all the test cases are finished executing. So we are gonna uh, keep this uh, video up till uh, this point, and in the next uh, uh, video we will see how we can uh, create our uh, uh, automate our first test case uh, using in Selenium uh, with Java. So uh, see you in the next uh, video. Until then, bye bye, Tata, bye bye. Thank you, thank you so much.